Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. In this training session, I will show you how to implement role-based access control in Exchange Server 2010. This is a new feature in Exchange Server 2010 for assigning pertinent powers for specified users only based on their role or job in the organization, thereby avoiding intentional or accidental damages created by the misconfigured users in the Exchange environment. The working of role-based access control feature is based on three simple logical questions, such as What? Who? Where? The answers for the above questions are provided by the role groups, which consist of four important components that define the innovative approach of role-based access control in managing the access control service in Exchange Server 2010. They are given as Management Role Group Management Role Management Role Scope Management Role Assignment The Management Role Group is a special universal security group that contains mailboxes, users, universal security groups, and other role groups. The Management Role is a container for the grouping of management role entries, which defines the specific tasks that can be performed by the members of a role group. The management role scope denotes the scope of influence of the role assignment, which can be servers, organizational units, or recipient objects. The management role assignment links a role and a role group, and also specifies the scope of role in the organization. From this explanation, we can get the answers for the three simple logical questions essential for the working of role-based access control feature, such as what, who, where. Finally all these pieces of information are linked by the management assignment role to make it a powerful yet simple to use role-based access control command. After knowing the fundamental information about role-based access control, now let us practically visualize its application and importance. In this training session, I use two exchange users such as TestUser1 and TestUser2 to show you how to implement role-based access control for secured access of resources in an exchange environment using Exchange Management Shell. In this case, my aim is to assign a crisp role to TestUser1 so that he can manage all the exchange objects and delegate role-based permissions in the exchange organization. Then, I have to assign a sharp role to TestUser2, thereby he can only manage exchange recipient objects in the exchange organization. Moreover he should also be prevented from managing administrative and user roles. Now I implement role-based access control to achieve my task. First. I add the TestUser1 to the inbuilt management role group called Organization Management, with a default set of roles to manage exchange objects and also delegate role groups and management roles in the organization. For that, I type this command. Now, I add the TestUser2 to the inbuilt management role group called Recipient Management, with a default set of roles to manage exchange recipient objects in the exchange organization. For that, I type this command. After implementing the role-based access control service for TestUser1 and TestUser2, now I test its role in Exchange Control Panel. At first, I log on to the Exchange Control Panel as TestUser1. Here, you can clearly see the options available for TestUser1. Which helps him to manage all Exchange objects. Moreover, options for managing administrative roles and user roles are present. Then I test, TestUser2. Now you can clearly find that, TestUser2, can only manage the recipient objects in the organization. But he is not able to alter the exchange object, due to the absence of, another user option. Moreover, options for managing, both administrative and user roles, are not found. This concludes our session. For more details on role-based access control, check it out at this link. We hope that this training session on the implementation of role-based access control in Exchange Server 2010 made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to implement role-based access control in Exchange Server 2010. For queries, 
feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.